Today we're doing an invasive treatment for bush honeysuckle on clay wildlife management area. This type of project is a little bit different than other treatment methods that have been used for bush honeysuckle. Uh, the main difference is we're using a helicopter uh, instead of using foliar spray or cut stump treatments. This project is roughly 600 acres in size with an additional 400 acres off the WMA on private property. So we're using a helicopter today because a helicopter gives a few advantages over some other treatment methods. One of the main advantages is it's very cost effective to use a helicopter compared to using ground treatment methods. A helicopter also allows you to take advantage of a narrow window when all the native vegetation is dormant and the bush honeysuckle is still actively growing, which gives you the opportunity to treat it when you don't have to worry about overspray killing other plants. Bush honeysuckle is a real problem in our forests, especially around central Kentucky. The main reason is because it doesn't provide a lot of food for wildlife. It also prevents other native vegetation from growing. So it, it basically clogs up that real estate and blocks out the sun in that area. And nothing really grows underneath bush honeysuckle. So you end up coming away with basically just a, a desert of green growing under your forest. And, and those conditions, you know, there's a few animals that will eat the, the fresh leaves, deer will nibble on it a little bit, but for the most part, it doesn't provide very good habitat compared to what could be growing there if there was more sun able to reach the ground. So the chemical that we're using is glyphosate, which is basically the active ingredient in Roundup and normally that would kill pretty well every plant that it landed on. The advantage of spraying within this narrow window is we're in the late fall and the only plants that are still actively photosynthesizing are plants that are not aligned with our growing season. And because of that, the bush honeysuckle and other invasive species are still green and photosynthesizing and can accept that herbicide, whereas our native vegetation is for the most part dormant. This is a practice that's been used in other states for at least 10 years. Illinois and Missouri have both used it for a long time, and they've seen great success and no negative impact on the wildlife or the native vegetation in the areas that they're treating. There's a lot of other ways that bush honeysuckle can be treated. You can use a cut stump treatment where you cut the stump off and treat that cut area with a herbicide, a foliar treatment, where you're basically just spraying herbicide over the top of the plant. And there's also a basal bark treatment that you can do where you apply herbicide just to the base of the stem to kill the plant. All of those methods work and are really effective and we continue to use them even though we're also using a helicopter. The disadvantage to those methods is they're pretty expensive and they're very time consuming for our staff. So we end up spending a tremendous amount of time each year treating honeysuckle and we only accomplish a fraction of the acres that we're accomplishing with a helicopter in just one day. So the work that's going to be done today will be they're going to treat 600 acres of clay WMA today using the helicopter. Tomorrow they're going to treat 400 acres on private property. Those landowners have property that's infested with bush honeysuckle and they're working with the Kentucky Fish and Wildlife to get it sprayed. If you're a landowner and you want to learn more about treatment options for your property, you can actually reach out to one of our wildlife biologists. It's a free service. They can come to your property and look at it with you and decide whether or not potentially aerial spraying is the best option for you or the traditional treatment methods like cut stump or foliar spraying. Last year we did 600 acres already and we've got at least one more year of treatment on clay before we do what we set out to do, which was treat the majority of the honeysuckle on the WMA. After looking at last year's treatment, we're gonna to need to do follow-up treatments. There's gonna be areas that they miss, areas that don't die completely. So we'll probably end up doing multiple treatments over the years, but right now, our goal is to do three years, 600 acres each year on clay, and that's gonna treat the majority of our bush honeysuckle.